So yes, as you look at this drone, it definitely has a unique setup. It's definitely interesting for good reason though. The closer you look at this drone and, and you see its shape, it starts to really resemble a lot of different features in nature. Now, now talking to some of the designers, the, the concept is, as you can kind of see the sloping shape and the way these stereo eyes are, it actually resembles a lot of a praying mantis or an insect in that sense. Now, I, I, I absolutely love praying mantises and they've always been a, a thing of, of wonder to me. And um, recently I actually actually had one uh, appear outside my front door. And, and, and as you can see, yeah, there, there's the really interesting stereo eyes that go on is exactly the same with these stereo eyes that happen in the front of the drone. The studies going on right now about the stereo vision from a praying mantis and how it it recognizes things in, in time and space using those two eyes to find out where it is in 3D space. Now, that concept is being used not just in drones, but I mean, this is the first drone for that, but in robotics, in, in being able to find where things are. Now, I mean, it's just, yes, this is odd. Yes, this is definitely interesting looking. But I gotta say, it's, uh, I, I think we need interesting looking. I think we do need to be inspired by nature, and, and I absolutely love some of the features of it. That you can tell that uh, even uh, Parrot did this unique thing with the, uh, the props here. As you can see, they have a, serrated edge to the front of them and that's to mimic a humpback whale's tail to be able to break through fluid dynamics and obviously this is aerodynamics and it, it does the similar thing when this drone's in the air and it's operating it's actually one of the quieter drones when those blades are chopping so definitely unique big fan of what parrot's doing and where they're going with this concept so yeah, kudos to you, Parrot, on this design. 